few a few thoughts and later Vladimir or somebody else will help me in, in prayer. Today I want to speak on a really serious topic, uh, fullness of restoration. Fullness of restoration. These two words, brothers and sisters, is, uh, have, they, they have deep meaning. What is fullness? How do, how do we know that's fullness? What the degree? What, what level of fullness? And where we can find our fullness for our, ourselves? And what, what is our fullness? How, how high we value and put our degree for ourselves? And second, second, uh, second word, restoration. Restoration. When we when we hear when we hear when we listen that that word restoration, it looks like care in it some kind of shame and reproach. Reproach. Yes, that means looks like who is going to something to restore restoration. That means in the in the past something happened. He didn't did didn't did not endure something, was not faithful. He fell, we fell, something happened. And falling, it's happened almost everywhere on a daily basis. And falling has a purpose. Falling, not just uh, for just happening, that, but falling, pursuing. It's its purpose, and its purpose, purpose, its purpose that you fall, fall, and never rise, rise again. Uh, fullness of restoration. It's so important in our life to have our own measure. Hi. Uh, degree, our level, our goal, our our purpose, what we want to do, accomplish in our life. From what situation, for from what outcome, usually we do our purpose, our our goal. On what on what base, we usually. Uh, accept or or accept or or ma make the mark for ourselves of our height, our 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 goal. It's so important in our life, brothers and sisters, to have such a maximum, such a mega purpose, goal in our life that we don't miss. That's maximum, because that's really easy to make much lower our purpose in life as God wants to have for us. Mm -hmm. uh, shortly, I want to explain to you and uh, repeat maybe one more time my, my story when I came to America. I was missionary in Russia eight and a half years with my family. I'm Ukrainian. And after, after all, I came to, to, to Three City, to, uh, here. And over here already was two good, good, good size of uh, Slavic churches. Mm, this, that's, this, this churches already had, has, uh, looks like, 10 even more years. And good accomplished. And uh, when I came, I met with the pastors. Usually they, they knew of my coming, and even some of them prayed for me because I was because I have plenty plenty relatives in their churches, my brothers and sisters, and a lot of friends, and I was looked like a little bit scary per person, uh, known as known as a charismatic person, and when I came, I met with the pastors. 
as a missioner, my goal was not just live free life, but live for purpose, for goal. And highest goal in my life, that was when I can serve to people and save them for, 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 for ever, everlasting punishment. That's the highest purpose. And when, when I met with a few past pastors in one church and in another one, uh, during the conversation, main cornerstone was in my, in, in my conversation. Are you going to lead church in such a way where our people, our kids, families, will serve the purpose of God, commission of God, and uh, save people? Are we going to, to lead in such a direction, church, when in our churches, people where we live in together will find place for them, safety place, salvation, redemption. And in the few conversations, that's also even serious conversation, these pastors, which I dearly love until today, and these churches, I visit monthly, and they denounce my vision. They disagreed with me. And they came out with their purpose in their life, in their, their ministry, differently as I do. And they tried to explain me really even, you know, serious, seriously. And they, they said, it's impossible over here. You from different culture, you, from, you don't know any English, you cannot say nothing, and over here in America, church people and secular people, the same. And we don't know even, is it possible over here, churches in, in every corner, that's for our perspective from, from, from Russia, from Soviet Union. And their purpose, their purpose was outcome of situation of time, of condition. They made for themselves purpose in life in the present outcome of present condition, situation, even, even mood. So important for us, each of us, to know our fullness. What my fullness, what my height, height is it right? What my, who, who I am in reality. I am in reality the person who, who, whom people are talking, circumstances, circumstances, is it right? Uh, dictate me, or present situation, or I am some, somebody who are unequal, unequal, is with, with, with the situation. Who I am is I am what circumstances dictate, dictates me. People uh, come, common, common, common uh, 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 view of people about me. Who I am. How can I find my fullness? Brothers and sisters, and uh, shortly, I, I back uh, again with that conversation. After a few conversations with these, with these uh, precious people, I said to them, I cannot agree with you. Yes, I, am, I don't know any English. I don't know this culture. For me, absolutely, uh, absolutely all things new. Even I am as a refuge from Russia, where it, was, where it was so strong persecution, and we pay so high price for, for our Christi Christian Christianity. But all these things cannot dictate my height, my purpose. My purpose supposed to be taken not from, from here. As a Christian, as the children of God, we have a dearly book, which called Bible, where we can know exactly who we are. 
and from where we can take our purpose, our goal. Fullness of restoration. What is my fullness, your fullness in your life? That cannot be taken from your generation because your generation can be robbed, poor, sick. Your, 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 your generation can be without education, business, and money, health, broken families. You cannot take purpose for your life, your degree, out of your generation. Because God is higher and bigger as your generation. And you are separated. You, you, you are separated as a child of God. And right for you to know your fullness. Your, your real fullness, your real maximum, your real mega is not in your generation. You can be totally different because you're called by God. You, you are in different family. You are in the family of God where God is your father and Jesus is your savior and Holy Spirit is your helper. It's right for you. Uh, consider you dif yourself differently, not out of your poverty, not our, uh, out of, of your failure, fa failure, but it's right to find out your fullness in the church where pastors are preaching the Holy Bible, Holy Gospel. You can find here your maximum. It's right for you. Don't miss your mega things from God in your life. When I talk with these brothers and I, I, I told them I cannot agree with us. Yes, I am, I am stranger in, this, in America over here. But my Bible, I rely on my Bible. I am saved. Holy Spirit with me. And uh, I disagreed. <clears throat> and shortly when I was just by self, I create three plans for my life. Because I preach in, that, in their churches a few times and they heard my message, a few people came to me and, and told me, hey, you're an awesome guy. We agree with you. If you create, if you open your church, we'll, we, we'll, we will come to you. Uh, we will we'll help and work together. And when I heard su such, a, such a, do you know, good, good, good people, and that's when my, my, my first plan. But inside somewhere, I was doubting. Second, my plan was a bunch of my relatives are going to come to America from, from Ukraine. And I made second plan. If that's fir uh, first plan will, 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 fa will fall, second will be I account all my, account all my friends and relatives from Ukraine who are going to come. And it came with a number around 100 people who will come. And I believe if I, if I them call them through my, my, my name, many, many things need to, to sign, they will join me. But second plan was uh, uh, failed too. Because many of them di did not come. And some of them who came just passed me by. And they didn't stay in church. My third plan was, that's my family. I, I, have, I, have, I just explain to you fullness of restoration. I will finish. This my, was my, my, my family. I have six sons and one daughter and few relatives who agree with me. But in the process, we didn't know any English. Even to open for us or find um, rent for us, it was really difficult. Because when my relatives, rest of them, uh, uh, knew that I going to anyway start church, they was opposite to me. In the time when I was needed translator, who, who, will, who will translate 
for, for fight, fighting the church for him, nobody wanted to translate me. I was, I was just lost. And I asked one person whether there was needed a resume. Resume, yeah? Nobody wants to give for me resume. Any pastor don't like to just see person and nobody can prove him. And American brother, Joe, uh, Steph, Steph, Stephens Land Render, he represent us to American pastor for rent and nobody to help me. During that process, we had brother and sister a lot of a lot of temptation. Even things were so hard and so bad that few of my relatives. Victor, Stefan, Constantine, uh, Maria, Leo, few of them were so shaken because for them, my idea, preach gospel, to, to walk in commission, in commission of God was not real. We consider ourselves so low because our language, our culture, many, many things. We cannot do thing, nothing. We can easily to make our purpose so low. We can easily make our value, degree in our life, so low. And your purpose during the process so hard to change. It's, it's so important in the beginning, not looking on your circumstances, but make right, make, make right purpose and value and, 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 your, and your goal in your life. It's better to ha have maximum with God and don't miss the, a lot of things when your life will go will goes in the wrong direction. And in our church, in the beginning, that was my message. People laugh on me. Whom you going to save in America without English? Who will listen to you? Who will listen to you? When first my plan fell, nobody joined us from my, my family's big relatives, big my friends who promised me a lot, we will help you. Nobody helped. Even they became even more uh, in opposite to me as those people who was disagree from the beginning. My second plan fell. And when my third plan came to in process, we had a lot of temptation, a lot of temptation. But from the beginning, I preach highest purpose in my life. Fullness of restoration. Uh, okay, let's, I leave you here for a while. And uh, what the fullness on this earth uh, secondly secondly let's talk about restoration if we talk about restoration that means in the past was was failure somebody just did really bad something happened Re restoration this really that's maybe hardest things in our life to restore what already you tried before that's that's fell that's harder things. But brother and sister, first fail, failure in, in the universe was God. First in the universe who fell, it's God. When he created Adam and Eve, when he created so beautiful everything for his purpose, for his, for his goal, in the, in the end, Everything fell. And that, that failure was not depend from God because God created us as a free will creature, uh, people. And he could, could not uh, dictate us. But anyway, his plan failed. That means if God is, if God can endure 
such a look like shame, reproach, and start again to restore in the fullness. That means our, uh, our falling, that's not new in the human, human race, even in the heavenly realm. Falling, that's common things in our life. We have to accept it as a, as a normal. Restoration that make, make the result. Remember, restoration, it's possible. Restoration, it's possible. In many cases, when we lead our church, that just small group, you just look around who are sitting here. Just one youth. We have just 90% of our church, just youth. What I'm preaching to you, I know what, what I'm talking about. Fullness of restoration of God in the prayer of Lord's Prayer. When, when Jesus uh, asked us and told us how to pray. Pray like this. Uh, let your kingdom come and, and let your will be done on earth. That's earth which was loose, like wrapped, dismissed. That's earth where failing, ha failing happened before. And God material, lost this earth. But restoration, God entered in restoration process. And that process as our last lasting so long. Is lasting so long. It, and God still stay on his purpose. Hundreds and thousands of years. And God endure all these things which opposite. Okay. When we when we when we speak about restoration, we understand re, uh, restoration because of fallen. Fallen because of enemy. There is devil, there is demonic spirits, there is demonic empire. Empire, is it right? Empire. A lot of demons, evil ones, who try, try to destroy, kill, still kill and destroy. When we speak about restoration, we have to know the reality of spiritual realm. There is evil forces we are, which pursue us. To rob us, to stop us, put on un, the stagnation our life and destroy. Restoration cost sacrifice. Uh, and the, in the Lord's prayer, when we pray, we have to deeply understand that's not even our desire. Yes, it's right for us to live in good environment where kingdom of God. It's good for us to live in America. Most of you maybe don't know third world how people are living today. And when you come to America, you can just compare how much easier how, how much comfortable you, you are here. Living in the kingdom of God, that's the purpose supposed to be of two personalities. First of all, that's the purpose of God. And secondly, this is our purpose. This is our good. When you live where poverty, disease, epi epidem epidemic, epidemic, where, 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 is, where, is, where is hunger, where is losses, where is war, where is bloodshed? It's much different when you live where peace, love. It's so important for us, brothers and sisters, to understand restoration, that's a real process. We have to know if something fall, fell, it's still recoverable. It's still it's still possible to restore. Okay, let your kingdom come 
and let your will be done on earth. That's the purpose of God, to turn back his planet, his people, his children, which created in his likeness and his image. And for this restoration, God pay, pays a lot. Sacrifice in this purpose, in this restoration, a lot. And we as his people, brothers and sisters, we have to know God's fullness, which, which God's fullness for God, his fullness to save this world, to save people. God's purpose, fullness, that this kingdom of devil, of darkness, in the end will become kingdom of God. That is his purpose. And he will not withdraw him back. He pursued during the centuries and thousands of years. And he is so near to his purpose, to the end. And that will happen. And we as a church, as a people of God, we have to know highest purpose in our life. Highest purpose, fullness in our life. Where, where, where we are together with the purpose of God. When we, we share this, his purpose, when we share his purpose, our life will be established too. We will have best in our life. What God just allowed for us to have it. But we have to understand, brothers and sisters, our, our goal in our life not just have Riches home or more expensive uh, car or something like that. That's hell place too. But we have to understand our, our big house in the end of our, our, of our life don't need it for us. Your expensive car in the end of your life, you don't need it. Your diploma, your career, your business, your money. Even your family, in the end of your life, you don't have value there. In the end, you have to st stand uh, in, the, in, the, in the judgment of God and receive how you spent your life, what you did in your life. Was you involved in his purpose? Is his duty sacrifice your life for his purpose? If you... If you if you look in the life of committed people to God, you will find satisfaction there. God, God ordered their life. God, God blessed their, these families. They have pleasure in life. Maybe not much money. Not, maybe not, not much things around. But if they are involved in the highest purpose of God, for salvation people, because salvation makes a dramatic change in the, in the life of people. If you watch around, you will find how, how, how people de deeply are wounded and suffer in their closet rooms, in their bedrooms without God. That's, I preach to you right now. Fullness of restoration. There is fullness for your personal life. But, high, but highest fullness for your life. That's the fullness which God called you for his commission. Even if you will experience some kind of losses. It, you still not a loser. You still a, a winner. You still a winner. I want to convince, I want to convince you, salvation of people in three city, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. You have to know highest price of satisfaction, pleasure, and abundance in your life when you save people who are perishing forever and ever and ever. Your relatives, your co-workers, your friends, your, your colleagues, 
So important for you to deeply understand fullness of restoration. Fullness of restoration. When you answer God for his commission, for his calling, in the end, he will, he will deposit in your heart fullness for your personal life. You will value yourself rightly. You will find for yourself your, your maximum in your life. Maximum of beauty, of abundance, of money, of progress, of success, of peace, of joy, of love. God will, God will deposit in your life your maximum. Because they will always try to push people down. Down. They will always want to prove you if you fell in the past. Next time, you cannot try to reach such a high. And after you're falling, you fall, you try to, to maybe in the half. Or maybe just a quarter, of your, a quarter of, of, of your purpose. But when you discover for yourself purpose of God, fullness of his love, Fullness, this kingdom of on this earth, let your will be done on this earth, not the will of government, on any evil loss, but let your will be done on this earth, and let kingdom each which is heaven come in this earth. His kingdom, that's my kingdom. His kingdom, that's your kingdom. His kingdom, that's your peace. His kingdom, uh, kingdom is your health and your wealth, your stability, your protection, your joy. His kingdom, that's your satisfaction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be involved in his restoration. God still in the process of restoration. And he is looking for people who, who will commit himself, yourself. Brother and sister, I want to say, uh, doesn't matter if somebody, just a few days ago, one, one brother told me, uh, called me and said, hey, how many, how many people you saved already? Huh? How many members in your church? And it looks like they, they tried to push me down, push and, and, and shame me, but they already missed me. I'm, I'm, I'm knowing what I'm doing. I know what, what, what cast of these leaders, each of them take the mic and speak mighty things. And people listen to them. We are responsible for this generation. And I believe God can, trust, can, can be trusted in you and me too. We will accomplish highest calling in our life. We don't want to push uh, make our, and keep us down. We won't accept this calling from God. Fullness of restoration. There is fullness of restoration in your life. God wants for you that you will restore. And that's fullness. Maybe even an unequal things from where you fall, fell. Maybe can be even higher and higher. So important for us, brothers and sisters. So right now, uh, if if you see, if you see if you see our leaders, Vladimir, uh, Ilya, all girls, and we have we have two 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 my sons in Africa, uh, were in the ministry, as we consider that highest ministry, in the spiritual realm, where God reveals Himself in signs and wonders every day. That's my strategy. I believe God is able to save people here. Amen. Who said God cannot save people? Oh, we believe he is able amen. to change people's life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We trust not in our circumstances. In not, in not our outcome. Our purpose are taken for our father, for new family, who said to us, you are able, you can do, because Holy Spirit on our side. Hallelujah. Amen. Fullness of restoration for your life, for your 
personal life, God wants full restoration. Whatever devil stole from you, remember, there is still restoration. Do as Jesus did when he was on the cross, when he was on earth. He, with a loud voice and with the tears, cry out to the Father and, and ask him, Father, not my will be done, but your, yours will, will be done. Ask Father, ask God, Holy Spirit, I want to be involved in your highest purpose, calling. Because in your highest calling, there is my pleasure. There is my highest goal. And I can achieve. I can reach it in my personal life, for my family. For, for, from me and forward, in my home, in my family, things will change. I don't want to compare myself to previous generation. I want to compare myself to the calling of God. And I speak in my life, fullness of restoration. Fullness of restoration. I don't want to take lower. I disagree. Even if I to have go against all the odds. But I still will pursue it. Because God on my side. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Your passion. Your compassion for people. Who are dying today. Far away from God. Ask God. God give me from your heart. Give me that heavy burden. To clearly realize. Without you there is no salvation. Without People can be established temporarily. That the demonic goal to keep them is some kind of good environment. But without Jesus, without Holy Spirit, without forgiveness, in the end, he will take their life forever and ever. We have to clearly understand and appreciate our salvation. And, 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 and understand when we speak with the people who are not saved yet, we have to, first of all, Pursue this, this, this goal. I will pray for you. Hey, uh, do you know, for you need salvation. Make friendship. Keep that in your prayer list. Believe for the full restoration. Hallelujah. Amen. We will see saved people. Amen. We will see revival. Amen. I speak to you. Believe in it. Amen. You will see how, people, how people's life will be changed. How healing, deliverance will happen on this place. We, we want to mega. We disagree on the med mediocrity. We are looking for mega things, me mega ministry, mega church, mega desire, mega sacrifice, mega cell groups, mega happiness, peace in our life. We disagree now on the me mediocrity. We are looking for best from our God because he is best for us. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe things which I speak to you right now we will practically come in prayer because we know what prayer what prayer means. Prayer moves the, the prayer moves the hand of God. There, there is where is impossible for us, it's possible with the Holy Spirit, Amen. with God Almighty. Where it's impossible for doctors, where it's impossible for counselors, where it's impossible, things are totally broken, but with God all things are possible when we are praying. Hallelujah! 